Halloween is almost here and many community members on the Central Coast are excited to celebrate. KSBY News reporter Gina Avalos joins us live now in Santa Maria where some people are already trick-or-treating. Gina? Richard, the parking lot is flooded with cars. They were originally going to start at 5 p.m., but they started at 4. So if that doesn't scream Halloween excitement, I don't know what does. Take a look to our left. We have Hocus Pocus right next to us greeting all the trick-or-treaters. It's definitely a safe way to celebrate this year's Halloween. I did speak to some residents who were shopping for costumes and they said this year will definitely look a little different for them, but they are still very excited. They're gonna do carameled apples. They're decorating the trampoline with homemade Halloween decorations. A happy jump from these two very excited trick-or-treaters with Halloween on Saturday. Many celebrations will look very different this year. How, what did you do last Halloween, Cash? I just got candy with my friends and we dumped our candy out and almost ate all of it. <laughs> but this year, things like at-home celebrations are something many will be participating in due to safety concerns because of the pandemic. So they're gonna, we're having a, just a family uh, selected and, and celebrate the birthday plus, you know, the Halloween. And uh, I'm going to, looking to, forward to, to dressing up. It's for the kids, we have a lot of cousins in the same neighborhood and so we're always together. So we're just keeping it small and close um, just so we can stay safe and keep the babies safe. Um, so we're just doing some trick or treating in the backyard. But they say the most important thing to remember this year is... Have fun. Live life. You know, uh, yeah, stay home if you can, but, but you know, who knows what tomorrow's going to bring, you know? And, and as long as you follow the guidelines, I think you should be good. Well, I'll tell you one thing. People are definitely following socially distanced guidelines. Look at these. They're handing 3,000 of these. I'm pretty sure they might be running out pretty soon. But, you know, people are still having fun. Reporting live in Santa Maria, Gina Avalos, KSBY News. All right, Gina, thank you. If you are in the Santa Maria area, you can stop by the Trunk for Treats event right now until 730. It is next to the Santa Maria Police Station on Blosser and Betteravia Roads.